centering. The crowd is going to go wild when they see Parrish coming into the ring. Everyone here to watch Parrish, the hometown favourite, the main event. Parrish Desi is going to rock this place. watching this fight on video we we're about to witness one of the most underrated fighters in Australia fighter Shazif you don't hear a lot about this man but he can certainly do a lot of damage waiting for Barry Shazif to make his way to the ring. Peter Stanovic, a very awkward fighter. Don't look like much, but um, can make his fighters look pretty ordinary. Hi there.
Well, you saw the challenge here um, between Jink Behik, the great white shark, the awesome man-eater, dong, 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 and against Nadal Taleb, who said if you're going to bother training, you'll fight Jink. Very interesting fight. And let's hope that comes to fruition. We'll see what happens between Jink and Nadal. Definitely pack a full house. Howard Lee, Lord of the Ring. Green suit, standing out like a pair of the proverbials. Does an excellent job. Two fighters here. We've got um, modified, mut modified Mutar rules. And other great sponsors, Sea Marcation Products. Hume Furniture, Salt and Roll Butcher. Spices plus wholesale food. Mod Design Furniture, Force Electrical and Plumbing. And Telechoice, thank you all very much for your support. Barris fought two weeks ago. Five round fight, couple lot of punishment. Had, had time to recover, not much, not that much sparring. Fighting Peter Solovic. Oh, you can see Barris how quick and fast he is. Both fighters a bit nervous there, filling each other out. Trying to get those knees happening. New tie rules. Uh, did spar with um, with uh, Barris before his last fight. What was it like, Jink? Uh, Barris, uh, very very sharp with his uh, hand combinations and a uh, very strong uh, high kick, I believe, with his uh, right uh, right half kick to the head. Uh, you usually you don't see coming, and that's what makes it so strong. So um, Peter Solvis better watch out for if he gets caught with uh, one of those right rounds, he'll only need one. That chicken, that chicken leg of Bosch uh, was quite sore uh, two weeks ago. And now he is uh, taking an, uh, another few leg kicks on, on that right leg and um, seems to be taking it all right. So as you can see, uh, Bosch has a very big heart. Torrey and Chara for the grappling in the neutral corner. I think that this um, Peter Solovic has definitely um, got the age against him and um, you would never pick him for a fighter though he's a very good fighter, very talented, very sharp and alert. He survived that round quite nicely, feeling out, thinking technical and um, you know in my opinion once you get into the ring that's good, that's his choice. You've got to give it to him. Takes a lot of heart, a lot of courage to get in there against these young, these young brutal fighters. Uh, now the fighter sort of seemed to be a little bit too phased with that round, filling each other out, and just uh, thinking it out. Very technical, a lot of experience, very professional. Jamal Hassan extracting Barris, some ice applying to the legs there, keep any bruises going down. Michael Vukovic over there with Peter. Right, because it can be very devastating and painful. As you can see, the fighters try to stay away from that because it can be very devastating and painful. Round two, touching gloves. Sponsors of this is Tally Choice. Thank you very much. Big kicks there by both fighters. Pretty solid, a very awkward sort of a stance and fighter there. Lots of kicking and uh, kneeing and, and punching going on there, tying each other fight up, the grappling here can make it a bit boring for spectators but definitely can inflict a lot of pain to the to the uh, each the other fighter once they cut loose uh, there will be some punching and kicking try and get the first punch or first kick in each Mal tells um Barris to box very cautious not sure what what they're coming into there Barris with those big right hand taekwondo kicks all right, Taekwondo. Big roundhouses. Very devastating. Have knocked people out before. Oh, there's those big kicks, Jim. I think those Taekwondo background there, Jim. Yeah, just just like um, all the other boys from the Jamal Salah Academy, they've got those spectacular, very stinging and fast. The roundhouse kicks to the body and head. And um, Boris definitely um, showing that, that roundhouse kick how powerful it is. 
Peter Slovich is relying on his knees. As you can see, trying to keep the fighting close and land a few knees. As we saw before, he's trying to bring uh, Barish's head down and bring the knee up high to his head. So uh, Peter Solovich relying on, on the in place grappling with his knees and uh, Barish trying to land his hand combinations, fired up by that big right, kick to the head. Solovic, uh, both fighters, that's definitely pushing each other down there. Peter Solovic is definitely prepared for Barrett's big right, right uh, and left leg kicks there, blocking them nicely and absorbing them. No damage yet, but um, it's still early, only the round two. We'll finish round two now. As you can see there, Gene Peter, I think, is definitely quite prepared for um, Barrett's kicks and blocking them quite nicely. He hasn't yet topped uh, Barrett's full brutal impact, has he? No, no, he um, surely hasn't. He's uh, actually, as like I said, per stories don't look like much, but when he gets in there, he looks, he makes his uh, fire look very ordinary. He's got his hands up tight. He's not getting hit. He's uh, he's checking and blocking every uh, punching combinations coming from Barish. Um, actually, he's doing a good job, ain't he, Bill? Doing a very good job. He's an older fighter. I said he's got ages against him. A lot of courage and heart to get into the ring. He must be confident, and he's trying to Michael Booker be confident that he can do the business. Um, doing very well. He might wear down as the as as rounds go on. It might be fitness, I don't know, but he always seems to put up a good fight. I think uh, Jamal and Barris are a little bit startled here as to exactly what game plan to, to take. It's a young beast up against the older man of the sport. Touching, touching gloves again, a sign of respect. Surround sponsored by Tully Choice. Tally Choice, you heard them before, the best deals on mobile phones. The mobile phone starting from nothing. Any plan you want, Tally Choice, come into a supermarket near you. The franchise stores owned by the owner. Yes, here we go. It's getting a bit more heating up now. Exchanging blows. A big spanning big kick by um, Barris there, but did not connect. Peter thinking about this very carefully, what he's doing. Barris thinking. Both fighters wary about, about hopping straight into it. Know each other's experience, respect each other. Some right kicks are some body blows there, left and right combinations of the body by Barris, tying each other up now, going for those knees. Malcolm Bulmer pushing him off the ropes, and I think he will separate them shortly here, as they can uh, wear each other's fighters down very, very quickly. And these can be devastating, can break ribs, break chins, break everything. Okay, Malcolm Bulmer. International referee said break. Barris wanting to go right in. Bear Solovic, hands up tight, thinking, watching, looking, looking at those long legs and long arms of Barris. Big right hand kick coming in, blocked by Peter. Peter not quite sure what to do. This is a Barris is in both fighters tying each other up. Why do they tie each other up, Jink? Well, uh, as uh, they are fighting tie rules here, which um, they're all allowed to grapple and hold on to opponents by the back of the, the head, so the neck area, and they're also allowed to bring those knees up right up to the head. So um, this is uh, not kickboxing rules, this is uh, tie modified rules. The only difference is from the original tie boxing, there are no elbows. So um, there are no knee to the, the whole part of the body, including the thighs and the body and the head. So there we see uh, Peter landing a, a nice knee to the midsection of Barish and Barish in the finishing off with a nice left hook to end the round three. Well, uh, Bill, still not much really uh, showed here. As we can see, uh, it's still quite an even pace, but um, Barish are uh, the more busy uh, out of the two. So I'll probably have to say um, he's maybe ahead of a point because it is a time modified rules belt. So where the knees are a scoring point, and which we can see Peter Slovich landing more knees. So um, I don't know how the judges would be scoring this, but um, the knees are a more effective scoring point in this belt. Yeah, you're right there, Jenk. I think that um, I think Barris is uh, definitely trying to kick too high there. Barris should be aiming for for legs or. Blocking and, and adjusting his game plan to suit Barris, which is very good. Barris is used to that. He's used to knocking people's heads right off clean. Uh, he's taking the defence in very well there. Handling Barris very, very well. Barris should be concentrating on a bit, a bit kicking more downstairs. He's kicking high. And Peter is well aware that both fighters are very cautious now. 
very awkward style of piece there. Peter's ready for his big kicks. Kicking back, punching, grappling. Peter Solovic trying to tie him up with the knees. But um, Barrows have to pull something out of the bag if he's going to finish this fight early. As you can see, nothing achieved in that uh, session of grappling there. No knees, nothing at all. Barrows on the attack. Peter getting the occasional uh, grappling again. Knee coming up by Barrows there, big right knee. Tying each other up on the ropes. giving it a go, a lot of courage, a lot of heart there and I think Barrett is becoming quite frustrated by this whole situation and Barrett will have to pull something out of the hat in this round to definitely impress home to the judges. Who knows, it could go anyway, anyway this way. hands and legs combining together but not again this is a tight belt rule uh, belt so um peter slovich isn't landing the better knees Anybody's a winner here? I don't know. Very hard to separate the fighters. Anybody's a winner? Well, uh, like I said, uh, Boris is landing the better combinations, hands and legs combining together. But not again, this is a tight belt rule, uh, belt, so um, Peter Slovich is landing the better knees. He's scoring quite well with those knees. So I'm not sure exactly how the judges will score this fight, but uh, Peter Combinations. But um, as we can see here, Boris doing some damage with those rapid punches to the body. It's taking its toll. And Peter is getting the count and boots, boots from the crowd. He's hurt. He's down. I don't think he's getting up. It's over. Those body shots actually took their toll. Those short rabbit punches to the body have taken a toll and have ended the fight. What do you got to say about that, Bill? Well, 50 seconds in the last round, Jenk, and who knows, he could have been winning. And um, the body shots got him, but it was a very close fight. I don't know, I don't know who, who I would have given it to, Barry or to um, Peter. But anyway, we'd like to thank all the sponsors tonight. Once again, see Mark Ocean Products, Kim Furniture, Salt and Halal Butcher, Pisces Plus Wholesale Food, 
Mod Design Furniture, Spot Four Central Ground Plumbing and Tally Choice. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Mr. Drink, Big the Great White Shark. Look forward to seeing you on future events and uh, kickboxing programs. And thank you, Jamal Hussain, Howard Lee, Esco, everybody ringside, and all the sponsors and fighters. Thank you very much. Bill Hartman, Colonial Way.
physically and emotionally. Keep punching. Reach the stars and godliness. Good night to you all from Rogan Ames, Leisure Center. Keep punching.